I can just be like this. Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily and I'm so glad you could join me as I share the ups and downs of my medical school journey. This past week, we had our first big final and I was four weeks behind on material. I do not recommend to do that in medical school, especially. So your girl had a lot of catching up to do. Plus, I had seen so many I failed out of medical school videos and I did not want to be making that video next. It was a struggle and a half so let's just get into the video. Good morning, we are on our way to study with our friend at a cafe. Today is all for studying as are the next five days. So yes, um, see you there. Body, and then you were like body yadi yadi oh. and then you were like wow that's so funny <laughs> you were like wow i'm so funny <laughs> segment called listen to the fun fact we've learned today <laughs> okay go ahead my fun fact is in the womb the baby gets the oxygen from the mom through the placenta sometimes pieces of the baby's cells can break off the placenta and go into the mom's lungs but nothing happens um, sometimes when you drink so much alcohol you start producing ketone bodies and one of them is acetone so if you ever have a fruity breath smell, it's the acid. Or it's Jolly Ranchers. And my fun fact <laughs> is that this is the umbilical cord. <laughs> I get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the umbilical cord, and it looks like a smiley face. <laughs> so we are back home now. We did a full day of reproductive microanatomy i'm feeling okay when i think about how much we did today but then i think about like how much is left and i get really like nervous on micro unfortunately it's been like three ish hours but we're just diving in deep again chasing down every rabbit hole that we see so hopefully it pays off so i'm gonna do like a little bit of a grocery haul Waking up feeling guilty about not getting more done the day before. I'm like feeling anxious with the amount of stuff that needs to be covered, but hopefully it will come in time. We're gonna get a lot done today. Happy studying. Good luck. Okay, we have just come out of class. It was horrible. So bad. Worst class I've ever had. I don't know how we're supposed to get everything done. I like, I he said he knew 30% of the terms. I somehow knew like 10 words total. That's including the word the. 
and the word a okay like terms like any word in there okay that makes me feel or better or benign This is a celiac trunk, and then off of it comes the left gastric, the splenic, the common hepatic. <laughs> oh, the gubernaculum? Okay, but what? No. <laughs> Cream ash. No. It passes through? Yeah. This one. <laughs> I know. <gasps> <laughs> the bad stuff. Yes! Good job! Good job, baby! <laughs> okay, okay, more, more, more. Nice. <laughs> Can you tell me the three peritoneal folds and what they came from? Momentum. <laughs> the time is currently 9.28. We have some very important things on our checklist to get done. And there will be no sleeping until they are done. No sleeping. So we have Vietnamese iced coffee and cream puffs to get me through this. Let's go. Fighting. Fighting. <laughs> with one set let's go we are halfway done with our anatomy question sets we just did abdomen and we still have GI to go up and moving on shit and getting lunch so hungry michael's more yes hungry i'm so hungry no. for two seconds then what happened i fell asleep and i fell asleep too so we are getting coffee Wow, that is so bright. 
what's up y'all it's like 1 a.m and we have gotten everything we wanted to get done today i it's like never been done before i'm very proud of us and i am so tired tomorrow is gonna be another long day so i'm gonna catch some shut eye before we get up early and learn some more we still have to do a lot so i'll catch you guys tomorrow i am like not wanting to study today we gotta do it we gotta do it we gotta push through If you've seen my second video, you know that I love Chipotle, but it's got me in the rest and digest, so I'm ready for a nap instead of studying, which is not what I want. But we did like the MDR this morning and it just showed me how much I still do not know. Things are starting to connect. They're almost at the tip of my tongue, but it's not quite there. Hours later. Now we're gonna go into lab, try to do gross anatomy stuff, identify structures in the body. Like your whole life goes on hold until the exam is over and then you shower and then you clean the house. Like y'all do not want to see the place right now. It's looking like a mess and I'm looking like a mess, but after just two more days, just tomorrow and the next day and we'll be done, so. What happened was we went in, 10 minutes later, realized we could not identify anything in the body, then felt so sad and left. But are we giving up? We're not giving up. We're not giving up. No way. We're gonna study until we figure it out. So here we see the uterine artery running through the cardinal ligament. And then beneath that, we see the ureter in um, yellow. And I thought this was just a really cool view to visualize what's going on. In a hysterectomy, the ureter can be damaged because of its relationship with the uterine artery. So I just thought this was a cool view um, of what's going on and I wanted to show you guys. Calling it a night for today. So. Um, gonna go into anatomy lab right now. It's like nine. We did not wake up at six. The lab closes at noon today, so we're just gonna go in before then. Do as much as we can. I can't believe that the exam is tomorrow. What can you do? We've been studying hard every single day for the past week, as you have seen. I'm feeling pretty burnt at this point, I'm not gonna lie. I, um... I'm just trying to remind myself that studying is a privilege. All of this knowledge will come in handy one day to help people's lives. and I'm throwing in the towel. My brain is feeling very full and like it's about to fall off. I cannot put any more knowledge in there. I think I am like all studied out and I'm very proud of us for pushing through all those times when I wanted to throw in the towel. Uh, good night. See you guys next time. Hey, and what a journey it has been if you've watched till the end till here thank you for sticking along for the ride it's been like a crazy crazy week and my mindset going into the exam now usually i do have test anxiety if you saw my first video you already know um, i get super nervous going in but i'm trying to just tell myself 
I've put in as much effort as I possibly could this past week. What is is what is, just leave it be and I'm not gonna bring any sort of like nervousness or worry about the future, worry about the past into this exam. I'm just gonna try to tackle every question, question by question and see how it goes. Really believe in the knowledge that I've crammed into my brain for the past week. And that's, that's just it. Um, it's not like the end of the world if I pass, if I don't pass, whatever happens, life will go on. So it's gonna be okay. Thank you guys again for watching. Please comment below, like, subscribe. Tell me a bit about yourself. I would love to meet you all virtually, um, get to know who is watching these videos. And again, thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time.